This home fitness workout is a seven minute workout to lose a back fat. We are gonna do this for a seven day challenge. And as a trainer with over 25 years experience, I know it has get amazing results. You don't need any equipment. This is suitable for every single fitness level. I'm gonna do it with you in real time and we are performing all the moves standing up. If you haven't done a warm up, I suggest you hit the pause button now, march on the spot for about one minute and then we're gonna get straight into today's workout. So it's really simple, we're just gonna do seven moves, as simple as that. So the first move, I've got it in slow motion, you've got about 10 seconds before we start, just so you can see what we're doing. So we do four, where you're, as if you're pulling back a bow and an arrow, and you're stepping that foot back. You do that for four counts, then we're gonna change the arms to a big, open, wide clap, and a side step or with the foot. As simple as that, we're just gonna alternate from those four arm movements for a duration of 60 seconds. So let's start now, so you start with your four bow and arrows and you're going to take the arms out and just toe tap one leg to the sides so you just step that foot out then you go straight back to your bow and arrow arms for four counts so the idea with this routine today what I want to be doing I want to be doing two things I want to be sculpting and toning through your back you're also going to be working through your arms and your shoulders and then also what I want to be doing is reducing excess of body fat so that's where here we are doing two things we're toning through the back and we're also helping to burn off excess back fat so let's just keep that going doing really well so we've just got another 20 seconds to go so this workout is also going to get your heart rate up you are going to be feeling it toning through those areas and also the more toned your back is the better for posture okay you're doing really well and let's just go for those last five seconds coming up from now then you can rest the arms to just watch what the next move coming up is all right so you've got 10 seconds recovery so you're next one it's if you're going to be slightly bent over in a squat then we're going to do four knee lifts and you come back down to your squat position and you open those arms out so it's like you're just squeezing those shoulder blades so start when you're ready and then you come up to four knee lifts so then come back to your bent squat and just squeeze the arms notice I've got my arms bent and it's like you're just trying to get those shoulder blades to squeeze tightly together you start with your arms together and squeeze them out that's good so let's just keep that going for another 40 seconds so with this one we're also working on your balance we're working through those back muscles squeeze that tight and I wanted to make the routine so it was really challenging the muscles were working also from lots of different directions which is really important when we're exercising. All right, that's good. You've just got last 20 seconds coming up from now. So when you're doing that slight bent over, make sure you keep the tummy tight. That just means then we're protecting the back. And then we come straight back up to standing. This is also really good for working through your abs. You've got last 10 seconds for me. That's good. And I'll count you down for the last five. Let's go four, take it three, two, and one. So for the next move, come into a wide plie squat, your toes slightly pointing out, our body stays nice and straight. As you bend down, you're drawing your arms up to chest height, then you lower them down. You keep them close to your body. We're gonna do this for 10 repetitions, and we're gonna change the arm movements. You come down, draw it back up. Make sure you keep your knees soft, don't lock them out. So again, we're burning off body fat at the same time as toning through the upper body, so we're working through those back muscles. That's good, so you're doing 10 of these arm movements. Now we're gonna change your arms. Take your arms so that now squeeze them in, and this time do this again for eight counts this time. So you do eight of these, and we'll go straight back into doing 10 of those other moves. So keep your elbows at shoulder height, squeeze that in. So again, we're working through the upper back. Now bring it straight back to that move. Again, for 10 counts this one, draw it down. That's good, so as you squat down, you're then coming back up, drawing the arms up at the same time. That's good. Once you've done your 10 of those, get ready just to change the arm position. Now squeeze those arms in and then open. Keep the elbows at shoulder height, two and one. All right, so next move coming up this time now, we're gonna punch those arms directly up and then we're gonna punch them directly in front. We're gonna do four counts of each. So punch it up, step the foot back for four and then punch it across for four, as simple as that. Just doing that for that duration of 60 seconds. So again here, it's all about cardio. We are melting off body fat and we're toning and sculpting. We're working the major muscles through your upper body so you're gonna really sculpt 
drew that back, that's good. And as a trainer with over 25 years experience, I know it has to get people results and these are results from all my workouts from people of every single age, you know, people that have never worked out and also a lot of these results are from people that for the first time ever have started doing home fitness, my quick shorter workouts and they've seen better results than they have for years going to the gym. You know, as long as we do multi-compound moves and work in lots of different directions, then you really can just see incredible results within your own body by doing these workouts. All right, we're nearly done. Let's just go last five, take it four, go three, two, and one. All right, so the next move coming up, this time I want you to come into a slight leaning lunge. You're gonna have one hand on one leg and imagine you're playing a racket sport here. So it's like you're swinging a, um, like imagine you're swinging a tennis racket up and then we're drawing down. So we're gonna do 30 seconds one side, then 30 on the other. So what's happening now, we're not necessarily burning really many calories, but I'm specifically toning through a big major muscle group called your latissimus dorsi on that one side. So it's one of your biggest muscles through your back and we're just helping to tone and sculpt that. That's good. And just keeping that going, draw the arm up and imagine you're working through resistance. That's good. And at 30 seconds, we're gonna change and take that to the opposite side. All right, let's now just get ready to just take that change to the other leg arm is up. So imagine we're just hitting that like tennis racket or squash racket, whatever sport it is that you do, you draw it down and back. And this one here, again, so we're just working through the back, keeping that going, doing really well. And we've just got last 10 seconds from now. Let's keep that controlled, think about where we're working and let's count you down, last five. Let's go four, take it three, two and one. All right, so for move number six, this time we are gonna do double punches for four and then a single punch for four and just doing a lateral side step. So again, we're gonna get that heart rate up. Let's burn a few more calories now, but tone and sculpt at the same time. So we are nearly finished today's workout. We have one more move and the last move, it's what I call a freestyle one. So you are allowed to choose the move that you want. So it is a repeater, which is good so you'll feel familiar with it, but you're nearly done with today's focus, um, with today's training, so keep focused. So with this one, really control those punches. Punch across for four and then do double punches. So again, think about it here. We're doing what we call a lateral and a transverse move. So that means we're just really sculpting so many muscles. We're burning so many calories. But more importantly than anything, you're investing in your heart health, your cardiovascular fitness. You are getting fitter and stronger every time you do this workout. All right, let's go last 10 seconds from now. And I'll count you down for those last five. Let's just keep going and take it four. Let's go three, two, and one. So your last move, you've got two choices here. If you want to do one that is a little bit more fat burning, then follow me on the right. If you wanna do one that's a little bit more sculpting, follow me on the left. So you're either doing your plie where you go 10, drawing the arm up, and then for eight, you're gonna change the arm. So just choose the move that you want. Okay, and if you want the one that's a little bit more fat burning, just follow me on the right. So let's just keep that going. And as an online trainer, don't forget on my website, I have so many different video eBooks and weight loss plans. I've got fitness plans. I've got kind of like a lifestyle guidebook, healthy recipe books. There's so much and um, they're all available for instant downloads, but also I do online training. So if anyone's got any questions, you can always just email me. All right, let's just keep that going, doing really Really well keep thinking of the benefits let's go for it last 20 seconds of today's workout you have invested in your heart health you have reduced excess body fat you have toned through your back you will get results you will feel amazing and you will feel re-energized let's go for it and let's take it down last five from now and four let's go three Take that two and one, amazing. So that is your seven minute workout complete. Now what I would suggest is you just now um, stay with me so we can do some stretches. If you need to, hit the pause button so you can grab some more stretch.
And I'm just going to quickly explain to you how this seven day challenge works while we're doing the stretching. So what I want you to do, just follow the moves that I'm doing within the stretching just so then that frees me up so I can really talk to you about how to get the best results in these seven days. We'll just kick off first stretch, calf stretch, you're always going to be feeling it where you can see the arrow pointing. Okay, so what I've designed, this seven day workout is doing lots of things. It's toning your back, it's toning your arms, your shoulders, we're also working cardiovascularly. So what I've created, I've created a little plan at the end of this video, you can see it up here on the left, and what I suggest at the end of the video, you'll see it full screen, just pause and take a screen grab, take a photo, put it on your phone, then print it off, stick it on your bedroom wall, on the fridge door, wherever, so then you're accountable every single day, you just have to tick off once you've done this seven minute workout. So the idea is, for seven days, you come back, you do this same workout, all right? And also, if you're someone that's perhaps really wanting to lose excess body fat, what I would suggest, doing this, but also if you could, four times a week, aim to do a 16 minute fast, brisk power walk, all right? And the great thing is 16 minutes, this is what I say to a lot of my clients, you could do this in your lunch hour, all right? So think of it, you walk out of the office door, if you work from home, or perhaps if you're a busy mum at home, kids aren't there, you've got a little bit of free time, walk out of that front door, walk as far as you can for eight minutes, turn around, come back, and that's your 16 minutes done. You know, it's about making stuff consistent. So if you do the walking, is really gonna help to speed up if you have any excess of body fat. So stick with this plan, and also remember it's really important to focus on good nutrition. You know, we don't wanna be eating rubbish, and if you're eating healthy foods, eating the right size portion, doing this workout for seven days, a non-stop seven minute full workout, you will see amazing results. So if you've got any questions, please let me know down below in the comments. Remember, I have got lots of these seven day challenges from the waist one to lose one to two inches, which has had already now over five and a half million downloads in just three months. It's gone crazy, and the reason why it's gone crazy is because it works. I know what works, I know how to get you guys results. So if you like this, please share it on Facebook, Pinterest, and it also, most importantly, just be proud of yourself because what you have just done is you have invested in your health and well-being. So I will see you back tomorrow for another workout.